Hi guys, we got another weird one for you today. This is French horn. I haven't played a French horn in many, many years. I'm really excited. We just got this one fixed at the middle school, and I know that none of you guys who are watching these are probably French horn players. But here's my goal. Listen, if you hear me playing this thing, and you see the problems that I have with it and how I fix them, and you love the sound of it, you'll want to play the French horn because I would love to start a French horn player. Okay, This one is what I'm practicing on right now. But I've got two much better ones at the high school that are used by two older kids who are going to leave soon. And I love to get those down to a younger student so we can have some good horn players come up. So if you don't play horn, I would still watch this video just to see what it's like to play horn. Because I remember I played it in college and I loved it. It was so much fun to play the French horn. Um, so please just bear with me. Watch it. Listen to what the horn sounds like and to what we can achieve on it. And uh, maybe one day I'll have, a, I'll have another French horn player. Okay, I've got this one at the school. If ever anybody wants to play it. Okay. Still some buzz in there. But it used to not even be attached together. So we're better than nothing, I guess. That's really weird. Okay. So... When you're playing the French horn, it's much the same as when you're playing the trumpet with the mouthpiece. It is cone-shaped as opposed to bowl-shaped like the trumpet. Um, all that does is affect the way that it sounds. Okay, You don't have to change much. The, the circle size is about the same. It's maybe a little bigger depending on the mouthpiece, but you're still just buzzing into it. You can buzz high, buzz low. It's a good middle ground between the trombone and the trumpet mouthpiece, okay? When you get it in the horn, unlike the trumpet and the baritone or other things, you play with your right hand on those. Play with your left hand. You play the valves with your left hand. There's no right hand horn playing. It's just not built for that, right? The fingerings are easier. You only, you only have a couple fingers. The problem is that it's really easy to switch notes if you blow too hard. Okay, the partials, that's called, that's what the different notes are depending on if you're on the same uh, fingering. I can blow a bunch of different notes without pushing any fingers down. Can't go lower. Uh, but the idea is that you gotta have a really good ear. You gotta know that you're on pitch because it's not like the trumpet where this is a G or a C. This on a horn could be many, many different, many different uh, fingering. One valve down is not just an F. Okay, it could be several different things. You just gotta know what it sounds like. That's the hardest part about the French horn. That's why it's so intimidating. But we can do it. Okay, I'm going to start the first five notes that you learn in the Essential Elements book. The French horn is weird because it gets two different ones. Uh, it gets two different starting notes. Okay, you start either low or you start high, and you get a bunch of different fingerings. Um, though we're going to start with the middle space C, so three spaces up C. This is no fingers down. It's going to sound like this. I think that's it. See, i got to have a good ear. Let me sit and get my tuner make sure we're right. So I wasn't right. I was playing the wrong note. Okay? I'm now playing the right note. My tuner says it's real sharp. So I'm going to pull out some things, if I can find them. There they are. Pull out so it's not quite so sharp. Let's try it again. That's better. Pull out some more. Clean it up. Still a little bit out of tune. Oh, that's weird. That's funky. Okay, let's pull some stuff out. All right, let's try again. 
So something I'm having trouble on is nailing the pitch right at the beginning. I can't quite hear it yet. Let's work on that. Da. Nailed it. Okay. So that's your C. Open, fingers, nothing down. Okay? Moving on. Let's go down to our next note. It'll be A. Not A. It'll be a B flat. Go from C open to B flat is one finger. Okay? Just your top finger. B flat. Nailed that one. Mm -mm. That's your concert E flat, but on horn it's a B flat. Good. Moving on. Third note. We have an A. For a French horn, it's just like trumpet. One and two. Okay? Here we go. Beautimus, right? Really good. Moving on. G. It's open. Nothing down, just like on the trumpet. G is open. Good, and then one more. We have an F. Just like on the trumpet, we have F. Okay. So, something we're discovering about the French horn, if you play trumpet, the top five notes that we learn are the same fingerings as on the trumpet. That little space there, those five notes, are the same exact fingerings. It's not that way the whole time, but they are the same fingerings. Your F through your C at the top of your uh, trumpet range is, or top of the middle school trumpet range, is the same fingerings. So if you're good at the trumpet, you'd probably be good at the French horn, honestly. Now that we know our first five notes, we can go to our warm-ups. I'm going to 52 in the yellow book. The performance warm-ups, I'm going to start with the tone builder. Um, do the tone builder, we're going to do the rhythm etude. We're going to skip the rhythm rap, it's not necessary for us. We're going to go to the chorale. Okay? Performance warm-ups, tone builder. I'm looking for a good, clean tone because there's nothing more beautiful than a clean French horn sound. It really is nice. Let's see if I can achieve it. Here we go. What's that? Okay, let's start right on time. Da. Here we go. Nice. So I'm feeling real sharp right now. I'm going to pull out a bunch of stuff here because I'm feeling that my horn is super duper sharp. Okay. Let's hear that. Let's tune it first. Let's look at my tuner. Uh, if you've watched the video before, you know how the tuner works, but we'll do it again here for those of you that have never watched one. If you're just watching a French horn video, kudos. That's impressive. So how this works is that this tuner will zip back and forth depending on if I'm sharp or flat. Let's see what our concert C, or let's see what our C looks like. It'll be a concert F. Here we go. So it's a red back and forth, but it's reading, it's reading almost there. Let's move on. Let's go down to our, uh, Lord, B flat, R B flat. That is a concert E flat. Sorry, excuse me. One more time. So it's reading super flat. So we're going to push, because this valve is reading super flat, this one, we're going to push its slide in. Okay? That's when I was pulling all those ones out to try to make it less sharp. Let's try it again. Reading a little bit better. Let's push it in some more. Cool. Let's go down to our A. That is a concert D. Well, that's not right. So the D's reading flat too. Let's push that back in. Let's 
All right. So one thing about the French horn, when you put your hand in the bell, you can use your hand to change the shape of the sound. That's what it's used for. But you don't need to worry about that. That's just something that I did to get it back in tune. Good. Let's go to our F. Lord, that's low. Because I was playing the wrong note. Okay, but we're in tune now. That's good news. Let's try to play this tone builder one more time. Really make it clean. We want to start right on the note. Make sure everything is working cleanly on my horn. Let's do it one more time. Okay, French horn's real finicky, guys. You gotta have a good ear to know how to fix it. Okay, let's go on to the rhythm etude. Okay, get the rhythm right. Uh, see how my tonguing works in this new mouthpiece. I haven't played it much. Let's try, try the rhythm rap. Don't want to miss that note. We don't want to do that again. Let's try it again. Alright. Maybe I slow it down. I can't quite nail it. Slow it down big time. Pump this back up so you can see the top of my head. There you go. Okay. I'm having trouble getting to that A. Try it again. Like that F is a little bit out of tune. I gotta adjust that in how I play it. Um, yeah, I got the rhythm right. I got the notes right. The way that I was able to get to that A when I was having so much trouble is that I really listened to it and I heard it in my head. It's called audiating. Da da ya da 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 da. That's what I'm looking for. I want to be able to hear it. If you can sing it, you can play it. If you can hear it, you can play it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> da da sure. Go, moving on. Let's go to the corral. So this got some different notes in it. We don't stop at F. We keep going. We got more range. Okay, we go down to an E. Um, uh, the E on the French horn is open, I believe. Let me make sure before I tell you something wrong. The E is open. Like I said, I haven't played French horn in a long time. I haven't taught French horn in a long time. So let's see if E actually is open. And it is. Okay, E is open. That's what I thought. I'm smart. E is open. Bottom line is open. Okay? One step below that, we have a D. D is first valve. I know that. And then one line below that, we have C. C is open again. And then one line below that, we have a B flat. Another first valve. Okay, let me check that one too. I notice. If I'm not sure about a fingering, I'm going to go and check it. B flat is first valve. So, most of this song, if you look at it, is going to be just first two fingers. Like I said, fingerings are easy. You just got to learn them. Let's try this the corral. Ah, no. Okay. 
Okay, so as I got lower, my sound got weaker. I want to be able to get those low notes out just as cleanly as the upper notes. Let's try that again. It's, I was pretty rusty there. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, the French horn's weird, but we got it. Right? It's pretty good. I feel like my tone is decent on the horn. Uh, I feel pretty good about it. We're going to move on. We're going to go to the same thing I've done with everybody so far. 34. Doodle all day. Sight read on the French horn. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Start right top. I'm not worried about it. We're just going to run it. Ah, I should have been worried about it, shouldn't I? Slow it down a little bit. All right, all right. We're going to take a minute. Focused. Not going to mess it up this time. I'm going to do it perfectly first time. Here you go. So I, I forgot some fingerings in there, but the notes are much better. So I'm going to try to do that again without forgetting the fingerings. Okay, yeah. So what are we hearing here? We've got some intonation issues, definitely. Something's not quite right. Maybe I'm just not as uh, as experienced with this as I need to be to get those intonation issues right. It's something I'm going to be fixing big time, the intonation. Um, but I got through all the notes, got them all right. I liked that part in the middle there where it was just open, no buttons down. And you can hear, you can hear how, how nice and like bright, bright but broad that the sound is on this horn. It's such a cool sound. It's such a unique sound, but it's kind of hard to hear it while you're playing. It's kind of hard to make sure that you've got the right notes. That's the biggest issue with the horn. We're going to move on to 36. I'm going to try to get all my notes right. A tisket, a tasket. We've got pick up notes on beat four. Here we go. Tisket, tasket. We're starting a little higher. Oh, Lord, we have a high note that I don't know. D. What's fingering for D, people? I bet I know it. I bet it's first valve. That's what most fingerings are on this thing. Let's see. If it's first valve, I'm going to prize. Bang, it's open. Okay. It's open. Whoops. Let's try again. There you go. It's going to be tough to switch between C and D just, just using my lips. We'll practice it. Here we go. Okay, not too bad. I'm going to try it again. Uh, I nailed the, the D, the D switch. I wasn't sure. Let's try it one more time.
So something I'm noticing is that my F is really sharp. So whenever I play the F, I know it's going to be sharp, so I adjust my embouchure, I adjust the space in my mouth to make it flatter so that it doesn't sound awful. If I don't adjust it, it sounds like this. No, that's not right. I played the wrong note. Try it one time. Sounds weird. Yeah, da, 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 da. That's what I'm looking for. We're getting da, da, da. It's, it's good. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let's try, try to lip it down and see if I can get a better sound. So I'm adjusting my mouth to get that note lower, to clean it up a little bit. Okay, that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm not going to make the French horn videos 30 minutes yet um, because I don't have anybody who's probably watching them to learn. Right now we're just experimenting. If you watch my French horn video and you want to learn it, I am here. There is a horn here for you to learn on. I can teach you the French horn without me having one, okay? Come talk to me, and I will we'll, we'll get you. We'll set, we'll set you up. I would love to have a French horn player. But until then, I am going to teach myself how to play it again. I'm going to relearn it. I'm going to get real good at it. I'm going to be better than all my high schoolers, hopefully. Um, I hope these videos are helpful. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Uh, I'm enjoying making them, enjoying getting better at what I do. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. And I will adjust, and I'll fix things. Please. Uh, Please don't hesitate to contact me. That's what I'm here for. I will see you all next week for my next French horn video. Thank you.